This short how-to video will help you maximize the number of valid signatures you can gather at your parish. The signature gathering process will be twofold. First, we will hand out packets either inside or outside of church, and second, we will simultaneously collect signatures at tables set up outside of church after each service. Our goal is to get every registered voter to sign the initiative and to take a packet consisting of two blank signature forms, an information sheet, and instruction sheet with them to get signatures from their family members and friends. Up to 30% or more of signatures gathered do not pass validation because the person who signed was not registered to vote or not registered at the address they printed on the form. Therefore, it is important to find volunteers to oversee each signature page so that the only person signing are registered voters or people who registered to vote at the time they signed the petition. Success depends on having the support of your pastor and by having someone make an announcement at each service. Follow the five easy steps shown on the petition. These steps must be followed for any signatures on the petition to be valid. First, write the name of the county where the signers are registered to vote. The signer prints his name, signs below it, and fills in his address, city, and zip code where he is registered to vote. The same is done for all the other signatures on the page. Every petition must have a signed declaration of the person collecting the signatures who witnessed the signing. This can be the same person who signed the petition. For example, your child who is registered to vote in your county, but is an out-of-state student, may sign the petition and also sign as the circulator. You don't need to get all five signatures to turn in the form. If you find that someone has filled it out wrong, simply cross out both lines of the person and have them start over on the next available space. All petitions must have original signatures in ink, not pencil. Photocopies, faxes, or scanned petitions with scanned signatures are not valid. You should ask the person if they have already signed the initiative. Remember, each person can only sign once. If someone is registered in another county, you may still get their signature, but you must do it on a separate petition. All signers on a petition form must be currently registered to vote in the same county. A list of frequently asked questions about who is qualified to sign the petition and how to properly fill it out can be downloaded on the website of Californians for Parental Rights. Thank you for your important contribution in collecting signatures for the Parental Notification Initiative.